In this video, we'll bounce the equation PCl3 plus H2O. Let's count the atoms up. We have one phosphorus, three chlorines, two hydrogens, and just the one oxygen. On the product side, we have one phosphorus, one chlorine, one hydrogen, plus we have these three hydrogens. So we have a total of four hydrogen atoms and then three oxygen atoms. Let's leave the oxygens till last. Let's start with the chlorines. We'll put a three is our coefficient in front of HCl. So we have one chlorine times three. That'll give us three chlorine. So those are balanced. And then the hydrogens, we need to update those. We have the one times the three, three hydrogens there, plus these three. So we have a total of six hydrogen atoms. Let's update the hydrogens. We have two here and then six here. So we need to multiply two times three. That would give us the six. So our coefficient here, three, two times three, that gives us six. The three, it applies to everything. So we have the one oxygen times the three, and that does fix the oxygens, and we're done. This equation is balanced. The key here probably was to start with the chlorine and then leave the oxygens till last. That's usually a pretty good strategy. This is Dr. B with the balance equation for phosphorus trichloride plus H2O. Thanks for watching.